वो आ जाए कि फोन पे बोले दी आफ्टर ट्यूब लाइट नहीं आते हम्म
So good evening to all. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. And uh, today, actually, I want to uh, show you how to model and animate in Excel. I will not do anything and we, our time is short. So what I will do in 40 minutes, we will have first part, second part, and uh, then after uh, 10 minutes break, or uh, we will uh, have second part, and after 10 minutes break, uh, there will be third part. And I wish that uh, those are very serious in uh, advancing in your career you uh, try to learn what i am trying to uh, teach okay uh, you will not realize the gravity of these uh, things what i will be teaching you now but i assure you that in your future academic career and then in your professional career you will benefit hugely because you will have a tool and that tool uh, can help you to uh, perform very effectively in every sphere of your career and uh, uh, that is the motive and i want that that you should learn not just attending and listening me you should start practicing also so with that what i am trying to do i i will be opening an excel file and i will show you how to model 2d 3d um, um, and uh, then uh, animate that uh, 2D, 3D models and what is required for that. And it is a very easy process. Am I clear to you? Yes, sir. Akansa, yes, sir. Are, is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Akansha, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, I am especially uh, telling you, Akansha, because you have tried that uh, uh, modeling in uh, draw mode. But draw mode is a raw thing and any child can do that. And with that, you cannot model it. So Excel, that files, what you, you are trying to do, how to do that, uh, that I am trying to uh, tell you now. So very carefully you uh, learn these topics and what I am saying, it is very, uh, very easy technique, uh, very easy technique. And I will uh, tell you step by step how to proceed for it, okay? So everybody joined, I think Yogi is also joined, okay, good. So, Wilson, am I clear to you? Yes, sir, it's clear. Okay. Uh, because uh, my English is a little bit different than yours. So uh, <laughs> there may be misunderstanding. No, sir. I, uh, I can understand it very perfectly. Okay. Okay. Good. So I am uh, going to share my screen and I will do something from the scratch uh, so that you can also those attended earlier also. And today, I think, uh, combinedly, you will learn a good thing. So I am going to share my screen. And uh, I, what I will do, I will first open one uh, 
excel file that i have done okay this is a blank scale uh, excel file and what i will do i uh, there is a provision for macro recorder what is uh, that macro recorder uh, that is a program which uh, can uh, save every action that what i will be doing in this file okay so how to add that uh, macro action there is a uh, tool called developer i i think many of you may not have this tool uh, developer in your main menu so what uh, those have it is okay those do not have they can go their file and at the bottom of the file there is an options so file options and then and this file also available uh, uh, in uh, uh, video so you can uh, uh, any where you get uh, confused then you can uh, re, uh, look into this video so here you see that uh, developer tool is ticked i have uh, visited options and uh, uh, customize ribbon and then uh, developer this is the uh, thing i have done and okay so this developer menu will appear here and when you developer menu you click extreme left uh, left you can see that macros okay you you macros and here it is written record macros so i am clicking on that and uh, it is asking that uh, macro name i am telling uh, that macro 1 and uh, we can make it uh, modeling macro is modeling okay and uh, i am not giving any shortcut key this workbook okay so it will save in this workbook okay okay now it will go on working uh, as we want to do and here uh, uh, first i save this file uh, in a um, uh, directory let me save there is a directory called this and this dash math and then math pilot project math pilot project files and this file name is uh, modeling in excel demo and today's date is uh, sub 25th june 2022 so that we can remember that what is that mm, the following feature cannot be saved in macro pre okay so it is not a excel field because it is having bb project so to continue macro pre workbook yes and no so i want it to uh, this is uh, excel macro enabled workbook so this uh, file extension you can see that it has changed excel m s m and save so these are the many options are there and you can uh learn uh, easily how you can uh, anything and you can learn many programming ideas from here also so with that i will start so what i want to do modeling in 2d and 3d and animation okay this is uh, we are going to do so for that three things only you have to learn just you it is not that uh, you have to learn infinite things what are the three things that i am writing here one is plotting and why i am doing that i want that you you Oh, those are working in my uh, book project now every book we should uh, include this uh, um, uh, chapter a chapter on modeling and animation so that uh, this book who will be reading that book they can able to uh, follow this and they can start modeling so they can start the book so whatever book is there they can able to model and learn so that is my objective so first uh, 
first thing is require modeling in ms excel you can do with this with any uh, any uh, worksheet uh, that uh, uh, microsoft uh, no my uh, office office open source uh, worksheet is there you can do there they, they are also but this is i practice this so i know these uh, features so i am comfortable with this so first thing you have to learn this one plotting and second thing is uh, you require to learn uh, matrix only these three things you have to learn okay so this chapter i am naming it as introduction you can use this file i will share this file also for uh, uh, including in your book uh, that pdf book no in that you can you can uh, add these uh, things uh, as you uh, like so first i am uh, i am going to plot plotting so here i am giving this uh, plotting in excel okay plotting we require two uh, elements one uh, one x and one y so that's all and then uh we require to enter some values suppose 3 and 5 this point i want to plot so we start with a point so what i will do you can do like that you can select it insert and then go to the scattered and there this option i prefer so only one graph we will learn and all this there are hundreds of graphs in excel file and hundreds of uh, options are there but we don't require anything 70% of your mathematics can be done with a simple this one this is called uh, uh, this is called a scattered with uh, straight lines and markers a scatter with a straight line and marker okay so so this one just uh, concentrate on this one you need not learn any other chart now so so this is the uh, you will get a blank uh, chart and you see it is a, a, a drawn a line this is the issue with one issue actually what it does it take uh, 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 three as first point and this uh, five as second point so uh, and plot it so we don't want we want that plot a point which is having x is 3 and y is 5 uh, so what i will do i will delete it now i will right click on it select data add data then you can um, name it something point and then uh, click here data series and then again uh, series y values and uh, this is this window called edit series window so uh, select y values y values is this just select a cell don't put the number there and then uh, put it okay and then okay so you can see this uh, point has appeared in this uh, window and this is the uh, simple way of uh, plotting a uh, point or anything uh, you can uh, plot 
and if you want that this vertical grid line should be there you click in the axis at the bottom right click on it and add major grid lines so you can see that vertical grid lines appear now you you don't know this point is uh, value is 3 and 5 so what we will do we will right click here add uh, data levels and then when you add data level automatically the y value will appear so click on the y values and right click on it format data levels and then x and series name so you see that uh, it is it has appeared here uh, point and uh, values are three and five. So how easily we can pl plot. So now plotting a line. <laughs> so for that, what I'll do, I will not uh, create uh, the same plotting technique uh, from scratch. I will use these uh, plots, uh, this file uh, to plot another uh, uh, line. So what I am doing, uh, sorry, I am uh, taking this, uh, clicking on this uh, sheet, uh, plotting sheet, and right click on that, and move or copy, move to the end, create a copy, okay. So you see that plotting, uh, you remove this, uh, delete. So plotting, now uh, I want that it should be a line. So now what I do, here I uh, write a line and line requires two points. So suppose my another point is five and another point is six. So this is the thing. Everything was there earlier. Now I what I have done, I did another point and click on that uh, data series. And when you click the data uh, point, you know, you see that it has been, data has been selected. So you, you uh, when you uh, go move your cursor to that uh, uh, say corner of that cell, it will uh, uh, converting into arrows. So you drag it. So you, you can see this now, this is series one, series two and uh, first point is three five and second point is five six so this is our desired line but i want that uh, series name series one has come it should not be series one it should uh, ha have some value so what i will do right click on the uh, this then uh, select data here i will go for here you can see that is na series name is series one i want to edit that so edit it what I will do, I will series name here, I will click on this red arrow and I will select that line cell. And you see that when we do that, everything was uh, there, only line has appeared in, uh, in place of that uh, series one, uh, it was named as series one earlier. So this is the plotting. So the number of points you go on adding, no? Suppose you want to plot some uh, move or copy, move to the end, this and this. So here, polygon, polygon, random polygon. So random polygon, I am taking values, different values. So I can take as many as uh, uh, um, points uh, as I want. And so these are my points. So now what I want to do, I will click on that and drag this. Now you see arbitrarily this uh, polygon sort of thing is has been created. And if we uh, add this first point and last point, then uh, it will be a uh, closed polygon. So for that, what I'm doing, I'm uh, changing this last point is equal to the first point is X uh, B3 cell. 
so i am uh, yeah whatever values are there in b3 cell it will be copied here and then i am uh, selecting that cell i am telling that you copy the same uh, formula here also so 3 and 5 now you see your this is your polygon and you can if you want a nice opening polygon this is actually convex polygon and uh, many points are uh, included inside but if you want you can change go on changing these values and uh, you can uh, make your regular polygon as you wish so this is one way of creating the any any object it can be any object in 2d and now uh this uh, same technique is apl applied to uh, functions so i will uh, show how function is being done polygon uh, let it be function so function so uh, in function what i will name it so 3 and uh, then i will go i uh, this is x value is a interval it is a interval suppose it start with minus 5 minus 5 and goes uh, uh, very close points i want to take so i am taking this plus 0.1 so i am incrementing that with a uh, 0.1 uh, interval and i am taking lot of points on that all these are x values and whatever the uh, y values are there that all depend on x so suppose you have a uh, function of sin x any function you can put it any function and x is this so now you can drag it and you can see and this is the sin function and it is one part of the sin function but if you make it more suppose it is a minus uh, 7 and you increment it to 2 what happened it is not sine function no yes sir it's not so how it's a little better problem. what is the problem uh, yes sir oh ho oh, it is not plotting whole data <laughs> so uh, this yes, uh, when you you uh, work with uh, ge geometrical modeling no you will immediately catch hold of the uh, problems uh, what is not possible in uh, analytical calculations here you can visualize everything immediately so let us see our graph so many things so this black is the labels data levels so if we exclude that level data levels format data level and we will uh, not put this data level okay so we can this is nice uh, way of hey chata thand ho gaye so this function whenever you want to uh, create another function you need not uh, do it from scratch you just select and uh, copy and move and it end and this and this and uh, now suppose this is a function 2 and here your uh, values is uh, sin x plus uh, log of x so log x again there is a problem because log x minus uh, value 
we will not have any log x so it will be a problem so let us have something um, cos x cos sin x plus cos x so this is the curve what you can see this is the sin x plus cos x uh, function so here if you write that is equal to exp exponential uh, ex P, uh, oh, oh. Uh, 10 minutes remaining. So after that 10 minutes, again, we have to come back. Okay. We will break uh, for a uh, little time. And this is the uh, x, uh, e to the power x, e to the power x a function looks like that. Okay. That, that is the thing. And now you can uh, plot any, anything in uh, 2D and uh, anything in, uh, uh, any function you can write uh, si very simple way. Now I am uh, showing you to uh, matrix multiplication. This is the thing introduction, then plotting, then uh, this is the thing three, I think, mm, two. Uh, yeah, three. matrix matrix multiplication so what is required to be done this is a great to uh, um, uh, option in matrix multiplication so suppose you have a um, uh, model uh, which is uh, you created here, your polygon. This is your polygon. Control C and that I want to, this is your, so this is X and this is Y. Now here you, uh, uh, you have uh, multiple rows and uh, two columns only. So what is the rule of multiplication, uh, matrix multiplication is that this, uh, this is, uh, I should call, this is array one. This is called array one. So I will not put it X and Y. I will put array one, okay? Or matrix one, you can say. matrix one okay and then uh, this matrix one having uh, one two three four five six seven eight rows and two columns and uh, what i will do i will uh, make a for formula for this so show formula So this is, uh, I am defining the uh, lane. Here you see the uh, new name, formula name is uh, matrix one and scope workbook. And this is uh, B3. You can see that refers to three matrix multiplication, B3, C10. So B3 is the start at three and C10 starts at, uh, ends at five. So enter this uh, data, they are taking as a matrix one and I'm uh, putting it. So I'm uh, just teaching you how to use formula in place of data. So this is your uh, matrix uh, one. And then I require a transformation matrix, uh, matrix for matrix multiplication is matrix two. So matrix two here, the requirement is that if the column is uh, two in the matrix one, here the row should be two. So that is the first requirement. So I have to two by two. 
it can have column any number of column but minimum is uh, row should be so this is the second matrix so again we will uh, name it uh, formula and define name this is matrix 2 you can see that and it is taking d3 to e4 so this is matrix 2 and i will uh, color code it also so this is our uh, second matrix and then uh, uh, we know that the uh, row uh, into column and here row into column so the output will be row into number of columns so here it is eight rows and uh, two columns so the output will be also eight rows and two, two columns this is the requirement of matrix multiplication so here we can name it as result so is equal to the uh, uh, command for matrix multiplication is is equal to uh, m m u l t m m u l t and this is the thing and then array one array one here uh, i will write matrix one it is our first matrix i am not selecting data i can uh, select data also uh, uh, but i am using formula so i am writing that matrix 2 and then if you enter uh, uh, the enter uh, uh, button it will not uh, give the result now, what you have to do control shift and enter control shift and enter this is the command for matrix multiplication and you see now this uh, result has come and instead of uh, putting this uh, formula, I am copying this formula somewhere. Control C. Control, sorry. There is some problem, I think. Anyhow, if I remove this, same thing uh, we can do how uh, we first we have to select this uh, size, that size output and uh, input file size should, uh, cell size should be same, is equal to MMULT. Then array one is this. I am not writing formula here, I am directly putting this data and control shift enter and the, you see the result is same so this is the result let us put another color so yellow matrix multiplied by uh, this uh, blue matrix and we get this uh, orange matrix this is the thing uh, and we are having 1.5 minutes uh, for uh, any uh, now we we have uh, learned this plotting this is actually two and uh, this is introduction is one so could you uh, share this recording with us Yes, I'll I'll share these three recordings, but provided I'll share with them who will end, uh, end uh, up to 3D. Today I want to teach yes, you 3D also, yes, and sir. this opportunity you don't miss it. And actually, that uh, if you don't learn these things, no, my every project is going slow because uh, you are habituated with the conventional one, and I want that we should do something extra than conventional one and uh, if you don't uh, understand this uh, concept then you cannot add value to your uh, whatever you are uh, writing these books no uh, you cannot add value on that it will go in the way conventional uh, books uh, whatever available in the market i am trying to make it a entirely different thing uh, than the conventional books okay 
and that you can do when you have this hold of these three things plotting uh, in ms excel matrix multiplication uh, these two i have already explained and then third i will explain the adding slider so these three tools when you learn then i will explain how to use these three tools to model and you will be the master in modeling it is a stack at 1 minute <laughs> and it 